Now, the year in review with Governor Gina Raimondo. The start of a new year is always a good opportunity to reflect on what worked and what didn't and to look ahead to the next year. So we sat down with the Democratic governor to see what she has to say about her third year in office. It was a wide-ranging interview covering everything from the budget to the Paw Sox and the Me Too movement. But first at five, we're hearing her thoughts on the state of our schools. Iowa's news anchor Danielle North asked the governor what the state needs to do to bring the buildings back up to grade level. According to a study from the governor's office, Rhode Island's public schools need more than $2 billion in repairs and upgrades. One of the recommendations to fund the project is a $250 million general obligation bond that voters would be asked to approve next election. It is certainly a lot of money to borrow, and it would only cover a fraction of the cost, but the governor says it's a good start. So I asked why it's so important that the question gets on next year's ballot. We can't afford not to do it. We have to do it. Um, I remember as a little kid, my dad, he was a great handyman, and he would always teach us, you know, fix the leak in the sink so you don't have to buy a new sink. We have schools. They're falling apart. The longer you wait, the more expensive it is to fix them. Massachusetts has done a school bond seven times in the past ten years. You know how many we've done? Zero. So, yeah, let's do it. Mm. We can afford it. It's the right thing to do. It's good for our future. And I say, why wait? Let's do it now. And the governor will likely propose to add the bond to the ballot when she releases her budget in January. It would then require approval from the General Assembly and then the voters. I'm Danielle North, Eyewitness News. And coming up new at 6, hear what the governor has to say about her re-election campaign and how she feels when attacks on her on social media get personal. Our year in review with Governor Raimondo continues in the next hour. Well, 2017 was a year of challenges and some economic successes in Rhode Island. That's the assessment of Governor Gina Raimondo as we sat down with her for an interview about important issues ranging from the budget deficit to her thoughts on the Me Too movement. Eyewitness News anchor Danielle North joins us with a look at the governor's year in review. For Democratic Governor Gina Raimondo, her biggest challenge of the year, dealing with the UHIP computer system crisis. And she cited job growth numbers as her biggest success of 2017. She's now looking forward to 2018, when she says she'll formally launch her re-election campaign sometime after the end of January. In a lengthy interview inside the holiday-decorated stateroom, Governor Raimondo addressed a number of current topics important to Rhode Islanders. First, trying to address a more than $200 million budget deficit. All the uncertainty coming out of Washington has, is really starting to hurt Rhode Island. But we will find cuts because we have to. About one-third of our budget is health care cost, Medicaid. So we are going to look for efficiencies there. Another story making headlines for most of 2017, a proposal to keep the Paw Sox in Rhode Island while fending off competition from nearby Massachusetts. Do you believe that in its current state it is a good deal for the state of Rhode Island? I do. I absolutely do. I don't think it's going to cost Rhode Island taxpayers anything in the long run. You honestly believe taxpayers aren't going to pay anything for this? I do. I do. It's a, the deal currently before... The legislature, I think, is revenue neutral to the state. It's about a million dollars a year from the state um, to help pay back the bond. Mm. Already we make more than a million dollars on income tax from the players. Okay. So um, I've, I've looked at it hard, and I think it's a good deal. Is eliminating the much-despised car tax still a good deal for the cash-strapped state? Taxpayers were promised a multi-year phase-out, but the governor seemed to waver slightly on whether eliminating the tax would be sustainable long-term. I want to try to do it this year. Next year, we're going to have to take a look at it. The governor also became quite candid when we asked about the Me Too movement, arguably one of the biggest headlines of 2017. As the first female governor in the state, she praised women for coming forward to share their stories. Part of this movement it wasn't just about the way you were treated in the workplace or in society, but the way you're treated on social media. As a mm. female governor, I have to tell you, yeah. sometimes the things that I have read, and it does hurt sometimes, right? Absolutely. It does bother you. Yeah, it, it definitely hurts. It hurts. People are brutal. People are mean. Yeah. Uh, and you're right, it, there's definitely sexist undertone, to be sure. I hope people realize it's not okay to be mean. It's not okay to be, you know, to use inappropriate disrespectful words towards women. I would never want my daughter to have to deal with that, and I hope that we can 
make enough progress so the world's a better place for our kids. And Raimondo also talked about Massachusetts beginning sales of recreational marijuana next year. While she says she's not completely opposed to legalization here in Rhode Island, she says she's still worried about the regulation of edibles and the impact that could have on kids and teens. I'm Danielle North, Eyewitness News. And our year in review with the governor covered a number of other issues as well, including the state of our schools and the future of Providence's Superman building. Hear what she had to say on those topics on WPRI.com.